Welcome to the warm up. We continue our trip around West Central Ohio, stopping here in Pandora to chat with new Rockets head coach Chris Myers. Chris, first year head coach here with Pandora Gilboa. How are things going about a week into camp? Hey, things are going pretty good. You know, the guys are working real hard. Um, a lot of new things to learn, a lot of new schemes offensively and defensively, but I'm pretty happy with their effort so far. You're coming from Macomb, an assistant there for about eight or nine years. What are you going to bring to Pandora that you learned in from Macomb? Well, you know, I, I learned a lot from a lot of the coaches over there and, and Coach Algy. you know. I'm sure Coach Algy's going to see some of his plays maybe, you know, getting, getting run over here. And um, I worked with a lot of uh, coaches over there developing, you know, the defense that we kind of ran at Macomb, and I brought that defense over here, and, uh, and that, that's where we're running. So it, there's a lot of learning to do, but um, um, I'm just happy with how the kids are kind of picking it up. You're one of three assistants from Macomb that is now a head coach. What did you learn from Coach Algie, and, and how has he prepared you for this head coaching role? Well, you know, um, just uh, practice schedules, um, agilities, just, you know, the how, how to prepare to win football games, I think, is, you know, what, what I've learned from, from Coach Algie and, and a lot of the other coaches and, and scheme and, and, you know, just preaching fundamentals and, and just doing things the right way. So, um, you know, if, if you came out here and probably looked at Pandora's practices and you looked over there at, at, at McCombs practice, you see a lot of similarities, you know, with, with things happening. Absolutely. And you were right in there mixing it up with the guys during during the plays. Has it been a real energy focused practice? It seems like it's very high energy around well, here. Well, we, we try to be high energy all the time. You know, um, I guess you could say I'm kind of an intense guy a lot of times. And, uh, you know, if I, I think if, if coaches are having fun, then players have fun. So, uh, and I always say we, we can't stay the same. We always got to get better. And I want to make sure we're, we're doing things the right way and have a lot of energy and, you know, always getting better every single day. Looking back on 2013 for this Rockets team, they went 6-4, and four, but all four losses came to playoff-bound opponents. So there's a lot to build on there, and you could be in line for a good 2014, correct? Oh, yeah, you know, we, we have a strong senior class. You know, you, the kids have a great work ethic. And um, I, they, they lost a lot of seniors last year, but there's a lot of uh, lettermen here that have played a lot of football. And so that makes it a lot easier as a coaching staff, you know, to, to get these guys ready. And, you know, I'm one of those guys, I, I guess if you have to lose, you want to lose to a playoff-bound team, but I don't like losses no matter what, what they are. Let's talk about the seniors for a minute. What have you seen out of them here in camp? How are they taking on the leadership roles and filling the voids left by the graduated seniors? Oh, hey, our, our seniors are, you know, they're real high energy every day. Um, they're, they're being real good with the young guys. We have, a, we have a large freshman class. You know, they're teaching them the, 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 the techniques, the fundamentals, and, you know, they're just being good leaders. And we, we want to build a program here. We want kids to play. We want kids to come out. We want big classes, you know, and, and we want to win. And I'm happy these guys are kind of taking on that role. What can we expect on the offensive side of the ball for the Rockets this year? What kind of offense will you be running? Will it be spread or maybe option? Um, you know, spread spread based, uh, but we have um, multiple formations. Um, I'm kind of, I, as a defensive guy, I know I kind of want to pull my hair out when I'm game planning and there's all these different formations that I right. have to, to plan for, you know. So we have a, a lot of different formations and, you know, we want to be fast paced. We want to get to the line, and we want to run things right. We want to run things crisp. Um, so we're going to try to give a lot of different looks to a lot of different teams. We got a lot of big guys up front, uh, so I'm going to be lying to you if I said I didn't want to pound it a little bit because I do. And But but just because you're running spread doesn't mean you can't be physical in a run game. So that's kind of, I think, our, what our identity has been taking on a little bit thus far in camp. Got it. And what about on the defensive side of the ball? Any big changes from what they ran last year? Um you know, they. I'm sure coverages are a little bit different. I think most of the time they were a base 4-3 type look, which is what I usually am. But, again, I'll change defenses from week to week. If if I don't think my 4-3 is going to get the job done, I'll change it. Okay, I try to keep um, guys' jobs the same so that way what I teach you in two days and in camps is the same thing we do all, all year. But I'm going to put my players in the best position to win. And if that means I have to run a 3-4, then I will. If that means I have to run a 5-2, then I will. So, you know, every week you, you see us, it, it could look a little bit different. All right, football is all about adjustments. So week to week, everything can change. But with a new head coach, how do you think that will affect your guys? Are you instilling certain things now that maybe they'll be ready for more when it comes to later in the season? Or you think they'll be ready to go week one with everything you want to instill? I think it's, it's my job and, and my coach's job is to make sure these guys are ready. 
I'm sure there's going to be, you know, things that we're obviously going to learn throughout the season. Um, I, I hope and I, I, as a coach, every team, I want them to be better week eight, week nine, week 10 than they are in week one. But, you know, these guys, I, I think they're pretty smart. And you can throw a lot at them, and they seem to be catching on to it pretty quick. So fundamentally, usually for me, things don't change. So whatever fundamentals you learn in two days, you're going to do those same fundamentals in week 10. And usually you have the same exact responsibilities week to week. And that usually makes it easier for guys to play fast. They know what they're doing. They don't have to second guess anything. They can just move and react to right. what's happening in front of them. Consistency is such an important part of football success. Mm -hmm. Playing in the BBC, three new conference Three new additions to the conference, and you know the conference well, coming from Macomb, and all three are on your schedule, North Baltimore, Riverdale, and Hopewell Loudon. What do you know about them, and what are you looking forward to about those new conference games? Well, you know, I, I played North Baltimore when I was in high school over at Macomb. Um, you know, things things obviously have changed since then. And um, at, at Macomb, we scrimmaged Hopewell a, a, a couple times, you know, a real, real good program over there. And, you know, I don't know a whole lot about those teams, I've never really broken down film on them a lot and done things like that. So I'm kind of excited for the challenge. I think when you're in the BBC year after year, a lot of times you see the same thing right. you know, over and over this and over again. A, so coming from uh, the, the defensive side of the ball, I know I got my work cut out for me, a whole new game plans and breaking down films and figuring out blocking schemes. So you know, I'm a little bit excited for a challenge like that. Well, best of luck to you this season, Coach Myers. Thanks for taking the time to sit down for, with us. Time for a break on the warm-up. When we return, Mark Kuntz will sit down with some of the Rockets players. Welcome back to the warm-up at Pandora Gilboa High School, joined now by a pair of the Rocket Seniors. Jacob Basinger on the end, Bradley Walther here in the middle. And Jacob, first off, we'll start with you. Change of position this year. Staying in the backfield, but going from running back to quarterback. How has that changed your approach for this upcoming season? Well, last year it was it was a little difficult because I just I learned the plays from Coach uh Coach Arthur and then uh, Seth Schmick, he helped me back there. But, I mean, I didn't know exactly what was going on all the time. But now at quarterback, I see everything that's going on. And it's a little more it's a little more eye-opening for me. It's a lot easier to know what's going on. Bradley, tight end as well as a defensive end. What have you seen from Jacob as the, the quarterback this year? Well, I mean, he's been doing really good so far. I mean, he's a beast at whatever position he plays. So, um, I don't know. I think it was a successful move, and I think it'll just be for the best of the team. Speaking of beasts, some new coaches, young guys, they love to, to show off the, the biceps. You got the, is it easier to relate to, to this new coaching staff, Bradley? Um, I, yeah, I'd say so, just because um, I don't know, he's younger, and I don't know, he's fun to lift with, and he's, I don't know, he gets us, so yeah. it's a good time. I mean, obviously, Coach Arthur did a great job with you guys. New staff always brings in a little bit of new life. Jacob, what have you seen as a, as a difference this year so far? Well, we have a lot more... Uh, personal time with the coaches they like when we go into individuals it's a lot more bonding we know what's going on it's a lot easier to learn from that then last season you guys beat Columbus Grove in the opener something you guys always love to do how good did that feel all year long to have bragging rights over the, the Bulldogs it felt great especially winning that the bull and then this year coming around it's going to be even better when we win Bradley, are you ready for Columbus Grove now that uh, the target's back on the Rockets' backs? Yeah, I think we're ready. I mean, we've been doing everything pretty well in practice, and, yeah, I'm ready for Columbus Grove. A couple of weeks before you make that trip uh, west to Climber Stadium, what do you guys need to work on the most between now and then, Bradley? Hmm. I don't really know. I think we're ready. Like, let's play right now. <laughs> I'm good. Rockets ready to launch against the Bulldogs. And then you get into the BVC. A little bit of a, of a unique thing where week two you're playing Macomb, but it's not a conference game. It kind of worked out where you guys both had that open date. Is that something that is kind of a little bit of an emphasis now with the, the new coaching staff having so many ties to Macomb? Is that a game you guys are really looking forward to now, Jacob? Oh, definitely, yes. Macomb is going to be a big game for us too. It's not going to be as big as Columbus Grove, but it's still going to be a really important game for us. Six and four last year. All four losses came to the four BVC teams that went to the postseason. What did you guys learn from last year, Bradley? Well, last year it was a lot of, I don't know, that was, that was a pretty hard season just because we were plagued with injury. But, I don't know, the biggest thing is just keeping your head up. So you lose a game, you come back the next week and keep playing hard. So. 
Rockets looking to keep their heads up all season long this year. I want to thank Bradley and Jacob for their time when we come back more from Pandora Gilboa here on the Warm Up. Welcome back to the warm up from Pandora Gilboa, joined now by a couple of linemen, Kyle Conine and Garrett Gerdeman. And you guys, you look at the Blanchard Valley Conference this year, and there are some really big lines throughout the league. What is it like going up against uh, that type of line week in and week out, Kyle? Um, I'm not really worried about anything. I'm just going to do what I was told to do and go out there and do my best and hopefully win every time. Garrett, coming off of a, of a solid junior campaign personally, what have you done from that uh, last year to this year to, to improve? I uh, just worked out in the weight room a lot, um, got in with a lot of guys. We've been really working on our speed, uh, footwork, and uh, our strength and abilities and stuff like that. So it's been really a good run. What have you seen out of this new coaching staff so far? I've seen a lot of good guys. Uh, very intense. I really like it. It's a little bit different than you know the years in the past, but... I really have enjoyed them uh, all tremendously, and uh, we've r really been lifting a lot, and that's it's really good. You know, Kyle, it seems like every team talks about how oh, we're a close-knit group, we like each other, get along, but it does seem like the Rockets have a really good chemistry so far this year. Yeah, we're all getting along good. Um, we know we're going to go out there, and I believe in him that he's going to be able to do his job, and when I do that, I can just focus on myself, and I know that we'll come in, and if we do everything we do right, we'll come out with the W. That's all that really matters. You know, Coach was talking about offensively, he wants to have multiple formations. He comes from a defensive background, likes to knows how difficult it is to prepare when, when you have to get things ready differently offensively. What have you guys seen from the offensive installation so far? I feel we really know our stuff so far. I mean, we've had a lot of different formations and stuff, and us as linemen, we don't always get to see in the backfield on what's really going on, but... I mean, it, it, it's a good feeling when we're going through these walkthroughs and we see our running back and our receivers catching the ball and going up the field. So. Uh, Kyle, have you seen? Are you, are you guys comfortable with uh, Jacob Basinger as he now makes the transition from running back to quarterback? You know, I mean, I played with him since fifth grade. I believe in him, and I feel like if our our coaches know what they're doing, and I feel like they have. I mean, I trust him 100, percent and I'm, he'll do what he needs to do to win, basically. Great athlete. <laughs> Fantastic athlete. Defensively, what uh, what have you guys seen from uh, the new defense so far? I personally love it. I, I do. I love I do. everything. I like how we can go into a three-man front to a four-man front, mm -hmm. and if we need to, we can put in a five-man front. Mm -hmm. We're not like last year how we just stuck in a 4-3. Here mm -hmm. we're making defense – no, we're making the offense think about what they're doing, mm -hmm. and we're making them – basically we're slowing them down with them – I feel like I feel like what they're doing. I feel like this year, as defensive players, we don't think as much. We just react, and we you know get to see where the you know ball's going and everything. I mean, I feel like everybody's flowing very well, which is great. You know, this early in the season, which I mean, it's been pretty good. So, all right, thank you very much, Pandora Gilboa Rockets. Open up, of course, at Columbus Grove, a game you'll be able to see on WOSM. I thank all of our guests today on the warm up. Chris Myers for Matt Finkel. I'm Mark Finkel. See you next time on WOSM.